Hello there, welcome to another video by RA Solutions. In this particular video, what I'm going to do is show you how to set your user preferences in Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. So basically how to customize the ribbon at the top, how to change the lo location of where you're saving your documents, so on and so forth. First and foremost, what I'm going to do is open up Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. Here we go. Here's an example PowerPoint presentation I've already got open. And the first thing you need to do to, to go into the preferences area is go to top left hand corner um, hover over with your cursor there, click on file, scroll down to where it says options here. So this is the second last option, so click on that. Now what it does now, it will open up a pop-up box. In that pop-up box you have your PowerPoint options. On the left side you've got all the different um, sections that you can customize. So the first one we have general here, you can enable disable the live preview of your slideshow, change mini or toolbar settings, mini toolbar settings, change your username, let's change this to RA solutions and oops, RA solutions, change that to RA, um, I will show you what happens later on, click on proofing now here, you can set or uncheck um, whether you want PowerPoint to ignore words in uppercase um, in terms of the spelling, ignore words that contain numbers, ignore internet and file addresses, so on and so forth here. So you can really customize go to town with what you want PowerPoint to check in terms of spelling um, there. So at the bottom here, um, you can check or uncheck what sort of words or what sort of things you want PowerPoint to correct. So that's the um, PowerPoint options there here an auto correct options button if I click on that you here you can select basically your change how PowerPoint corrects and formats the text that you type so click here and here with this further pop-up box you can check and uncheck um, these particular options here I'm not going to do anything I'm going to click on cancel on there now the third option here is save now this save option you can select where exactly you want PowerPoint to save um, the documents here. The default file locations here is um, users, users documents. You can change that to whatever you want it to be. So you can change, save it to e, e Drive, for example. Oops, like this, and it will save all the documents to E Drive there. Dead easy, straightforward, and you have other options here, especially if you're using PowerPoint on the server and at the bottom I just tend to ignore these to be fair here you can change the language so my default language is UK English uh, but again you can add other languages if you want to you can select other languages you can set the US English language to the default language so on and so forth advanced if I go to advanced again you've got further advanced options here so for example you can you got editing options here when selecting automatically select an entire word you can uncheck that or you can make sure that PowerPoint does select it so on and so forth and down at the bottom you've got other options print options here that you can check or select if you want here this customized ribbon the top ribbon here you can customize okay to your heart's content at the moment we're under the design um, tab uh, quick access toolbar you can change how the quick access toolbar works here by adding or removing icons there um, this is the quick access toolbar at the top. Let's for example say I want the draw table one Let's see if it does it click on draw table So when if I click on ok, it should add the draw table icon here at the top um, Any add-ins that you have you can add in there and I tend to leave this one the trust center if you're happy with the changes um, click on ok and the first thing I will notice the quick access toolbars here at the top notice that draw table icon added it's added that here and remember I saved changed um, the save location to eDrive so if I click on file save as it will save it automatically here this PC new volume eDrive it automatically saves it to eDrive there so that's a quick video really just to help you out just to customize the way PowerPoint uh, how PowerPoint works for you and I hope that video has helped you there please subscribe like and share